5 o'clock on this Wednesday morning, halfway through that work week. Thanks for spending some time with us here on Good Day. Singapore Airlines says the Boeing jet headed for Singapore descended 6,000 feet in about three minutes. A SWAT team had to be called in after a violent incident in southeast Austin. Cedar Park police tell us the suspect is still barricaded inside the home. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this one goes quite a bit faster than the other one. A Leander ISD employee is under criminal investigation. Some big time star power is coming to Austin. The number of fentanyl related deaths continues to grow in Travis County. Probably not nearly as graceful as some of the <laughs> dancers here, great. but they're absolutely beautiful. Start out slow. He says it's all about honoring yourself and providing value for people throughout the journey. She sustained major, major damage to her home. First of all, Nicole, we are so happy to hear that you and your family are safe because that's what the most important thing is. Collapse at a stage at a campaign rally in northern Mexico was killed six and left multiple people injured. And I think this weekend in particular particular is going to be a great time to maybe get out on the lake, get by the yeah. pool. Is this something that uh, people can try at the workshop on Sunday? They sure can. Okay. Th they can log on to ADRN.org. They still need about $4 million to help all of the residents here. Something else council is working on this summer is, of course, the city budget, $4.5 billion, with $65 million of that going towards solving the city's homeless crisis. Inflation is still keeping a tight grip on the nation with higher than average food prices eating a hole through many wallets. 702 on your Wednesday. We are taking a look outside our text dot cameras I 35 and Piccadilly Drive. I like that telling two Kyles, you know, yeah, yeah. Tell, tell to show Kyle. up next year. Come on Fox 7 next year. We'll tell everybody. Now at this time, it appears that Austin Fire and police will not be among the first employees to receive the vaccine again with these vaccination plans. It all depends if Pfizer gets the green light here in the United States. Joining me once again for our loving along stay segment is Deja Fogel, a volunteer with Paws. Hi there. Nice Nice to see you. you too, Starting off a segment with kisses. I love it. New guidance from the CDC concerning students and social distancing is expected to pave the way for a return to in-person learning. Now, Austin public health officials plan to provide an update during the Travis County Commissioner's meeting that is scheduled for nine this morning. She has been such a joy to have on here this morning. Miss Nova, Miss Nova. Nova, can we give you a treat real quick? Good girl. The economy and immigration are the top concerns for Texans, according to a new survey released by Texas Lyceum. 656 with a growing number of states allowing the medical or recreational use of marijuana. Stigma around the substance continues falling. Several former U.S. Navy officers accused of taking bribes from a Malaysian defense contractor have had charges against them dismissed. Kangaroo on the loose no. in East Texas. Well, hello. A concerned citizen called the police after animal control wasn't answering when officers responded. Their dash cam caught the kangaroo running. The animal even has a name, Kangaroo Jack. According to an officer, it belongs to a nearby resident and oh. made it back home safe. Fun fact, it is legal to own a kangaroo here in Texas, along with other strange animals. We've had a kangaroo here in studio. The report also includes the top 10 cities that consume the most hot dogs with Los Angeles, New York and Dallas topping the list. All right, where's Austin, though? We probably I, I'll have our do my fair part. share. Get us up there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I love file. I wouldn't want to I put ketchup on the hot dog. No, no though. ketchup? I'm uh, a mustard but. person. Many users on TikTok commenting they've tried the drink before, even calling it the Dr. Pepper Pucker. Dr. Pepper Pucker. I wonder what it tastes like. I Sweet, bet it's pretty good, it's honestly. Bit, yeah? I think so. Yeah. Now, is it bread and butter pickles, regular pickles? Uh, I have that's the question, yeah. You know? I would want some spicy pickles in there. Really? Yeah. Oh, that would be interesting. Yeah. The Hippos came into the tournament a 10 seed, but have since pulled upsets over several tournament favorites. They've advanced past the likes of North Dakota's Kenmare Honkers, the <laughs> two-seeded sure. Tarpon Springs Spongers. Wow, I haven't heard of these. Spongers, I'm guessing. Sponge <laughs> or I like the Spongers, too. One day there's a sign that's by the snack. Exactly. One per, yeah. person. One per, per person. person. One per day. Yeah. That's all you need, a little regulation. Yeah. You don't need to tell anybody. Fine. You made Don't be thing. rude. Have some manners. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That stuff yeah. is for Maybe here. Maybe 